hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i don't have any food in front of me and if you have not noticed i am wearing my culinary coat i am so freaking excited but anyways first of all let me just get into the fact that i know i have been gone for like a month i haven't posted any new video for like a month or like two months i don't really know how long ago it was my last video but i know i've been gone for a little while now and it's because i have been super super busy i i've been working a lot you know get, trying to um, get my money together and also yeah i've been working a lot and um i also have another youtube channel which i'll put the link down below so you guys could check it out i've been working on that channel trying to build up build up that channel and adding some videos to that channel and making sure that channel have enough enough video for if you guys decide to go subscribe to that channel so you guys can have enough to watch and yeah also if you have not noticed I am I have um started culinary school. So I am attending the ICI, the um Iowa Culinary Institute. I joined like a couple of months ago and school just recently started. So I've been so super super busy with school also. But I'm just I'm here to tell you guys about my culinary school and why I joined how I started it, when I started it, how's is how is going, and you know, answer maybe a little bit of questions. So yeah, I decided to join culinary arts. I mean culinary. I decided to start culinary school because I wanted to um, improve my cooking. I only know how to make African food specifically Liberian food so I know for I'm I'm not really trying to like convert from cooking African food to whatever else kind of food I just want to like expand my knowledge a little bit you know I don't my main reason for going is to get to like um to get to the understanding of measuring and um you know baking and stuff I don't if you if you <laughs> If you really pay attention to my channel, you will know that I do not know how to bake. I don't know how to do anything. I have to do a baking. I don't know how to do anything. I have to do a measuring. Nothing. Nada. 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 I don't. So I stay away from it. Every time I bake something, is either the only thing I know how to bake is cornbread and like pepper chicken, pepper fish, pepper ribs, stuff like that those are the things that i know how to bake african food and cornbread so yeah i try i'm i know i could go on the internet and learn it and stuff like that but i feel like i needed to go to school and actually sit and get like knowledge about it and stuff like that so i started in september like three weeks ago yeah this 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 month september i started three weeks ago so far i have been really really really, really i've been really really enjoying it it is really really fun i am so 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 excited that i actually joined right now i'm taking food prep lab and food preparation so the first my first class is basically me um it's like a lecture class right now we're just talking about the books I will show you guys the book later but um, right now we're just talking about the books and just going over all the medical terms for food and learning about the pots pans today we talked about cheese like different type of cheese and stuff so let me talk about that let me start from the beginning so the first day of school um, um we had like a like a orientation type, type of day we sat in the auditorium and they had like a little meeting introducing all the professors and making sure we know where we're going and they give us like more information about jobs and stuff they would, how they'll be able to give us jobs and if you need help they have all the resources and 
you will have everything you need at the school. And they will help you a lot with understanding what you will need. And you will always have like a professor and how to contact your professors, stuff like that. That's, that was the first day. So we didn't really have any like major class. And we didn't really have any class at all the first day. So, and then the second day, the second, that was like the first week because school started like on a Wednesday. I only have classes. I'm a part-time student. I only have classes on Mondays and Wednesdays. So that the first week of school started on a Wednesday. So that whole, the rest of the week, we didn't go to school. And then that following Monday was, um, was Labor Day. And then that Wednesday, we started actual school. And the, the first class that I had was the, the, full preparation so we just sat in the class and the professor talked about um he introduced himself a little bit more talked about how he started becoming how he became a professor and stuff like that let we make sure we got to know him a little bit more and then he got into like the actual um lecture and we we talked about how culinary how food and like like the history of food, like how food became so popular and who really started it, like culinary schooling and stuff like that. So we started with that. And then the next day we had, we talked about like pots, pans, different type of utensils, sanitary, yeah, stuff like that. And does my food prep lab, the first day we went to the classroom and the professor talked about you know get to know him and then he also got to know us so we didn't really do much that day and then he showed us around showed us the kitchen the refrigerators everything that we needed to know around the kitchen the kitchen is huge like that joint is big like i wish i could show you guys a picture or a video but we can't really like record too much too much in the um in in the kitchen because you know you can't keep touching things and yourself and stuff like that okay so actually the f another thing is the first day of school the first first day of school it was the day that we all had to um put in our orders for our uniforms and our knife kit i will show you guys i haven't received my knife kit yet so later on when i do receive my knife kit i will show you guys like a like an unboxing of my knife kit so yeah stay tuned for that video so the we put in our orders for our knife kits and our we had like fittings for like our uniforms i just got my uniform like two days ago so yeah they just came in and they um they have the school name we have my name my full name you guys can't really see it we have my full name the school name then then the ici i um Iowa Culinary Institute, so that's what was on it. And then you know they have the they have the buttons. This is what it looks like. And we are supposed to have um, the thermometer. The the thermometer. The pen and a marker. I have to borrow somebody's thermometer for this video. So yeah, we that's what we had to collect for. I mean, that's that's all the things that we put in order for, and then our shoes and stuff. So we pay all of that. All all of that came up to like six hundred and like like almost seven hundred dollars. It was really really expensive. So for the first day of for the first day of the food lab, yeah, we went around the kitchen. He showed us all the different types of pots the pans everything that we're going to be using where the spoons are where all the plates are where the refrigerator is how to get things and where to get things the washing dishes cleaning all these other stuff you know that's about all that so the first the first uh, the first thing we made was muffins and i will put a picture somewhere right here so we made a muffin oh my god like so yeah the first day of school before we went to go show us around he told us oh we're gonna be making muffins and like i said bacon is not my thing anything i have to do with measuring i know i am going to fail so i was very terrified he we have this book i am so not prepared this is so horrible like 
the book is in the, is in my car. So we have the book, the food prep book, which have all our recipes in it. And um, so this is the so this is the first book for my food prep lab, food prep preparation. And this is like my first class. So we basically read this book the first thing in the morning from eight o'clock to nine thirty. We read this book. We are not we're not really going by like chapters by chapter. We're going like bunch of different chapters and this book is super super heavy i'm just going every like the professor is talking about the book going through the book and doing like slideshows and stuff and i'm just going through the book like highlighting all the important stuff so the other book is in my car so i can't really show you guys but that book is but is just full of bunch of recipes so i'll show you guys that book in the other video <sighs> but it's a bunch of recipes and the first recipe was muffins so yeah the first lab is was muffins so we had to look at the lab look at the recipe and then make flashcards like flashcards that we're gonna look at and then make the make the muffin so we went to school oh my god like i i literally had bad dreams because i was so freaking nervous i was so nervous like i was like i even miss the classroom i miss i missed the kitchen because after he announced that we was going to be making muffins and then he proceeded to show us the whole kitchen i was not paying attention like i was just focusing on like I'm going to fail because I don't know how to bake. I don't know how to do anything. Do, 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 do. And he said he's just going to show us and then we're going to be on our own. I mean, he was he will be there, but, and then we're basically on our own. So, um, basically, the, so the first day we, he, the first day we went to class, I obviously, I obviously missed my, missed my way because I was like, I'm about to make muffins like what so we um we went to the classroom I, I finally found my way and then he made the muffin in front of us and showed us the procedure and everything he did everything in front of us and then we had to either we had to go by what he did and use like our our flash cards like the flash cards that we made so I was shitting bricks, but I held it together very well. Like I was nervous. I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not even going to lie to you because, but I was able to keep it to, together. I mean, there was other students who was, who were like nervous also as well with me, but I was not paying attention to anybody. I was like so focused that like, it was so crazy. Like I was like looking, I kept looking at my card, making sure I had all the right measurements because I don't want to fail this class. Like I don't want to fail. Like I need to get this right. This is the reason why I'm here. So I focused, like I, I was, I was determined to pass that class. I was determined to pass that damn stuff because i was trying i wanted my muffin to come out exactly how the professors the chefs we have to call the chefs chefs so i was very i wanted my my muffin to come out exactly like the chefs so i did the measurement i made sure i rechecked everything he just kept looking at me like because i have every time i get like a measurement okay one cup i'll look at my car one cup look at it again one cup one cup one cup Make, make sure it's one cup in my hand. Look at the label, one cup. Okay, put it in there. It was so, oh my God, it was so crazy. But I, thank God, like the, the kitchen is cold because I was sweating. Like I was so freaking nervous. But my muffin came out right. And he opened the muffin. It was done. It was cooked. It was perfect. Like I was so happy oh my god i was the happiest person in that class i have never ever ever no matter how many times i look at a freaking recipe i have never made anything in the oven baked anything in the oven and it came out right like i was hella nervous so the next um class we made cream puffs and french custard that one i was so more i was so much more confident with it it was so it came so easy to me 
because first I knew exactly what to expect in the classroom. So I knew that I had to follow his his steps and I knew that he was going to be there. The, the chef was going to be there and I have I could ask questions and stuff like that. And he was going to be what he was willing to help me. So that the second time, the second class, I was so much more confident and I I followed the recipe. I didn't. I barely looked at my cards. Like that's how much confident I was. Like I literally remember almost everything. The only thing I had to actually look at my cards for was like was like the the actual measurement, like to gather my ingredients and stuff. That was the only time I really looked at the measure. Like like, like that was the only time I really looked at my card. I just read over my card one time, make sure I stuck everything into my head. And then I made it. Oh my God. It was so good. It came out so good. I'm not even going to lie. It came out so good. And then we made the, um, the French custard. The French custard tasted so much like pudding. It was so good. Like I wish you guys could taste it, but yeah, it was delicious. So yeah, the next class, which was today was was bad because I was not prepared for class so I got kicked out of class so I have my flashcards oh these are the flashcards so these are the flashcards so you make you make your own little um you make your flashcards and you write the ingredients and then the procedure like your direction, di uh, your direction. As you can see, it says omelet. That's exactly what I was making today. I did the homework. So in the beginning of class, you're supposed there's questions, and then you're supposed to do these cards. So I am so mad at myself. So I did the cards. I did my homework. I did the questions and all that other stuff. So. Usually I keep my um usually I keep these cards in my bag. But I thought I took it out of my bag and I thought I put it in my car. So I left my bag. Because when you go to the classroom, you're not supposed to have anything but your questions, your your yeah, your book, which is the which have the questions on it and the cards. And if you have your your knife kit, your knife kit. So you're not really supposed to have anything else with you. So if I had taken my book bag, I would have had to go put it in the locker, this and that, that and the three. So I don't really take my book bag. My phone can fit in my pocket. So I don't really take anything with me. So usually I remember to take the, the cards out of my book bag. But I remember that after, because I usually do my, um, my cards at work. So I remember that after I take my cards, after I'm after I was done with my cards, I put it in my glove compartment. But I don't really remember how I did it or when I did it, but I took the cards out of, out of my freaking glove compartment and I put it in my bag. So now going to school. So the first my first class is at eight o'clock, eight o'clock to nine, and then the second class is from one o'clock one o'clock to four thirty. So I, after the eight o'clock to nine o'clock, I come home and I'll take a nap and then I'll go back at, oof, I'll start going back like at 12. So I wasn't really thinking like the card is not in my, is not in my car. I thought the card, yeah, I thought the car was in my car. So I got to the school and my school is like 30 minutes away. So I got to the school and I was in, I was in like the because usually there's a class before us, so we have to wait outside the classroom, and then when the chef calls us in, we go inside. So I was waiting with my fellow chefs, soon to be chefs, and then we was talking, and then the guy, one of them had their, one of them had their, um, their knife kit, so he was showing us where he could keep his knife, his, his book, so, like I'm saying, we don't really need to take anything with us except for the book and the cards. And if you have your knife kit, your knife kit. So, he was showing us where he can keep his books, where he can keep his, um, where he can keep his book in his, in his, in his knife kit. 
So I was also asking another girl to to see if we have the same answers for the 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 question. So I was going over it, and then I remember I didn't have my card. So I was like, "Oh, I forgot my card in the in the car." I went into the car, look in the freaking the spot that I thought I had it in, but it wasn't there. So I was freaking out. I was shitting bricks because this professor, this chef. He is very precise about time. Like, you cannot be late to class. You cannot have, you cannot have, you have to have all your equipments and stuff. So, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just tell him that I left my cards and he will let me stay. No. As soon as he got there, so usually when we get to class, you'll have to put your book down and then you'll put your flashcards down. And then he'll check your book to make sure you take the questions and then he'll check to see that you did your cards. So he got, he went, did the other guy, he did the other guy, he got to me, and he's like, and I was like, I forgot my cards at home. And then he's like, how are you expected, how are you expected to cook? So I was like, I don't know. And then he was like, I'll see you on Monday. I almost cried. Like, I was so freaking sad. Because I really, really wanted to make the omelette. I really, really, really did. I wanted to really make this omelet to, you know, because I know how to make omelets, but the it was like a French omelet. And I wanted to really learn how to make it. And even the day before that, I was telling everybody in my house, I was telling everybody in my house, oh, we're gonna make omelets tomorrow. And look at this. I, I only needed one page, so you know this was an easy, easy A. Like, and I missed this. I was so excited, and I missed it. Like, I was so heartbroken. I'm still heartbroken because I got a zero for that for that day. So I was trying to figure out how I can um make up that make up this grade. But yeah, so that's the class for now. So I have, a, today's Wednesday, so I have another class. I have, um, my next class won't be till next Monday. So, yeah. Class is, um, school, the school is really, really nice. I am really, really enjoying it. I do not regret joining. I really hope I still have this exact passion it's not really hard. It's not hard at all. I know the 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 one class that I'm really like nervous about is the math class because you know there's there's math going on. And that's what I'm prob probably going to take next semester. So I'm a little I'm a little nervous about that. But yeah, so there's a lot of different type of classes. There's dining room, there's sanitary, there's a lot of classes to take. So I'm really, really excited. I hope I can complete this two years. Don't give up. And the the thing that I'm, I'm really excited about is these damn coats. I mean, you have to roll up your sleeve like this because when you're cooking, all of this have to be free, like, you know, to wash hands and stuff. So you're, you're hand or your sleeve don't go into the food so yeah we have to keep rolling them up and the arms are really like a little bit bigger they run bigger in sizes so yeah i'm really really excited so yeah guys this is what has been taking up most of my my um my time but i promise with me doing this class i will be trying to um make some of the food that we make in class, I'll try to make them on here to show you guys. This is mostly my purpose for um, going to this school is to have perfect measuring and to be able to make different type of food and to be able to like um, introduce you guys to different different side of me, you know, <laughs> to learn something else and then come and teach you guys it. That is the goal. And then obviously I want to um, have a catering business. I want to be able to cater African food to the world. You know? Yeah, so I want to have a catering business. I want to be able to like cater to like weddings, birthdays, you know. That is my dream. That is the dream 
that I want to have. And I also want to be big enough to actually have a section in Walmart. That laugh at me now, but it's going to happen. You know how they have like a Chinese, I mean like, yeah, like an Asian section in Walmart. They have a Hispanic section in Walmart. My goal is to make sure there is an African section in Walmart. Hopefully, I'm the one that's able to do that. But, yeah, that is a dream of mine. Like, every time I go into, like, Walmart and stuff, I always, like, vision African section. Like, you know how it says the little thing on the on the top of the, of, of the yeah, at the top of the aisles, the little direction thing that's telling you where things are. Imagine, like, a, like an African section. Like, ugh. Where they have different type of fufu, palm butter, you know, a goosey here, all kinds of things here. I check it there, you know, different things, like a whole section of just African goods. You know, we have a fridge, you know, for our frozen goods, you know. Yeah, that is a dream. I am really, really like, I have a really big plan. And I hope all of this goes, I hope I am able to go through with this. I am praying that I don't become too lazy and don't, you know, I don't really like school, but I, I have been in this school for like three weeks now and I'm still, and I'm not even tired. I'm still very much excited. Every time I go to school, I feel like it's the first day of school. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to continue. I'm going to finish. I'm really, really excited. Hopefully, after I get my associate's degree, definitely going for, you know, a step up. So, yeah, let's just keep our fingers crossed. I'll take you guys along with me on this journey. I'll try to see if I can actually, like, get some videos or I'll try to get some more than pictures i want to really get videos and show you guys how class are right now i'm just like basically focusing on my studies and just focusing on getting things right i'm not really making any friends right now because i feel like every time i'm in school and i make friends i, I tend to lack a lot slack a lot what if i just say lack i tend i i always i always don't focus i always like do i'm like a, i'm mostly a class clown which is not a good thing but that was me when i was younger so i'm actually trying not to like repeat those behaviors so i have really been trying to i i talk to people but it's not really like uh me building friendship but at the same time it's just three weeks of school so i haven't really made any friends yet and i'm not really eager to make any friends right right now the one girl that i do talk to she's she's really friendly like she already know half of the freaking class but yeah that's that's good but she's also smart so i'm trying to keep her close to me so you know we can both butt heads and help each other so yeah guys that is the end of this video um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions Please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Um, like, comment, subscribe. You know, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. If you are watching this video only because of the culinary, just subscribe to my channel because there will be more videos on my channel about school. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but see you guys.